What's up guys, Eagles here back from another video. Another 10 drops for you guys. But this time, it's with Mayo and Bit and Dante for a decent amount of this. So, sit back and enjoy these games. We have a really good game for this, so I hope you guys enjoy these. Now, I will go over strategies with you guys in game number two. But, a real salty. If there's not... If the entire, if it's not right, if you can get your own house, get your own house. Don't land on the same person's house. Actually, that's a rule for everyone. Because you're both going to get little loot. Because it's, it's just not a big area. Like. I don't know. I just think that it's more efficient to go get your own house. Where you can maybe kill a guy. Than that. Also, I'm sh actually, I'm just going to go over strategy now. Never go to that blue house. Unless if you have the best draw, never go there. But I did end up being murdering that kid. Walking into this house. And you know what I did? I went in first. And beamed this kid down. For my second kill of the game already. Now this is a crazy game. So, we're going to get in. We're gonna look, I don't know. But these guys are, but I just had to go do something real quick. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stood still for a second. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing actually, seriously. I don't know what's happening. Uh, But we, when you assaulting, what I do is you wanna get kills, a few. You wanna get a few kills and then instantly leave basically. So, but what I did there was actually really smart. You want to blow up the gas station, like, I mean, like, if you're going to run into it, it's kind of stupid. And then, I don't know who threw that, but whoever did, why? Like... I have no clue. I don't know why there's pants there. But, Marauders in this game. Oh my god. But my aim is so bad on these guys for some reason. Actually, kind of a weird item. Also, uh, I accidentally drank that mini, <laughs> that big pot. I meant. So, hmm. I don't know why I did that, and then Mayo was pissed at me. <laughs> so it was kind of a stupid idea. I did take that harpoon. I think that that thing is very good. If you can take loot from someone with it, like Dante wanted to rock it, right? I don't know. What he was snorting that day. But we were not about to rock a ride at this stage. And I saw Marauders in the distance. And I was about to start uh, just jumping into a canoe and never being seen again. I hate those things. But they were hopefully going to ruin someone else's day. So. You know. Never a bad idea. I mean if they can ruin someone else's day. I don't know. Especially if. Like, they get killed right off the bat. Also, you always want to use that truck. Like, no matter what. Slurp truck is the best truck. We saw shots, and I'm pretty sure they were shooting. And I trust it still. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. But there's a big pot for mayo, so now we're all going to be 100-100. And now what you want to do in Salty is it's a get-in, get-out location. It's like retail. See, now there's locations like Holly Hedges, where they're kind of just, like, chill, where you can kind of chill there. They're not really a necessary get-in, get-out. If the final circle's on Salty, you don't always want to be the first, in the middle of Salty. You kind of want to be away. And we were going away from Circle, so I don't know what we were on. Maybe we just tried to have a little fun, but it didn't really work out in our favor. 
But with these games, guys, also don't forget I'm doing a new series. I know you probably didn't hear what Mayo said in that uh, stupid video, but whatever. Uh, what I was what he was trying to say was, um, we're going to be doing a building competition, and I'm hosting it. Now, the comments might not be open because YouTube hates me, but just DM me. Oh, I have a suspect snipe, but I did kill him. So, a kill's a kill, a kill's a kill. Beam that kid down, got two. Ooh, shotgun elimination. Elimination of song. But that's what I mean. In this game, like, you can kind of get, like, if you breathe air, you kind of. I've said this before. You get upgrades for nothing. I marked the green tap for someone. But I don't know where Dante was. He was in, like, Narnia. And then all of a sudden, I spotted a kid. Running in the middle of the field like a doofus. Oof. Dude, my aim is so bad. Ain't did get the kill. Mm, whatever. Got an assist. Now there's worse things. But the thing with me with uh what we were trying to do and accomplish this game. Was in these games we prioritize kills over wins in the beginning. That's how I always think of it. If you can get a good kill game over wins, I think it's a better game. That's just my opinion, though. Also, uh, I don't know how we got to call this this, but uh, peppers are peppers for some reason make you go like speed. It's kind of like what streamers do with G Fuel, so. Whenever you get a pepper, it's called G Fuel. Got it? Got it. Get some slurp. Dude. But, Dante was an agent in authority, sorry, for some reason. I don't know why he thought going to authority would be a smart idea. But hey, it worked, and we, were, and we didn't die right away. Which is always a good idea. Now, whenever you go to authority, always go vault first. Because if it's open, you know that Jules has been killed. And probably has been. And the kid's probably left. But it was open. But we actually killed the person that killed Jules. I just wanted the grappler, personally. Because that's all I really cared about. But this grappler's in. It's not as good as the old one. Now I was playing on Voltu and talking with uh, my friend Aiden. And he brought up a good point. They should have the normal grappler in this game. So in case that only has 10 shots. Because this one is kind of bad. It's not as good as it used to be. Like, I like the old grappler. The sky's grappler. Like, do y'all remember that thing? That thing was just like, you could just beam anywhere. Like, this thing you have to glide and stuff. Now we shot so shots outside of Storm, so we are like, oh yeah. But it was like, no. Because it was freaking Marauders. Marauders! I don't know what we were doing. We were going to like shoot at them or something. Then. It was not going to end well. But for some reason they didn't think of us as a threat. And there's a big pot in case the male wanted it. So... And then we saw the chapa, and we saw the circle. So we thought, hey, we should probably go there. But we were going to use a launch pad, and then we saw a chop, and then we remember the chopper. But since I had the grappler, I didn't have to burn my mats. I mean, I still took your time. Now, Dante's like, it's not working. Like, it's literally having a seizure. Like, look at this thing. So eventually, I just gave up and said, you know what? We gotta go circle. So, basically wasted all my mats. I mean, only 100, but basically wasted some mats. I right, also, uh, while, I'm, while we're going circle, I'm gonna tell you guys about the competition that we're doing. You guys get, I'm gonna do five hours, actually. You guys gonna get five hours to build something creative. It can be, it can be a memorial to me. It could be something cool. It can be something different. 
It can be a, but this theme is just whatever you want. Four hours to do it. Basically the entire creative time. Once it's done, DM me. Or, yeah, however we're going to do communication. Uh, and I'll tell you, hey. Now, Blair, uh, I'm going to need a response from you because you said you might do it, so... And we're going to be doing it soon. So I don't know when we're doing that. If, yeah. But if you guys do want to be in it, honestly, just... Just go on one of my older videos that actually has the comments turned on if this one doesn't. And just say, hey, I want to be in that, in your video. I'll be like, okay. But, now these guys are... This is the problem with the person with the grappler. Is that I can make up so much ground on these guys. Which is good and bad for everyone. It's good for me because I can easily escape. But it's bad because we can easily get separated. And then one guy with some freaking tits shotgun can come up and just one shot me in the forehead and I start raging. And neither are good. So, I basically just started waiting and looting. This is how I kind of wait, so I don't, like, just start spamming my grappler. Six rockets right there for them to split. Pretty sure Dante took all of them, but you know what? Whatever. It was fine. So now, since we're all together, I was going to plan on not I was planning on not using the grappler unless I had to get. Oh. Dang it! So that wasn't the best idea, but it was whatever, you know? No, I dropped four more rocks, don't they? Now ants start shooting at marauders. Fortnite, you guys gotta take this garbage out, like, no one likes them. To give subpar loot. Now, you can make him attack with subpar loot, but can you at least give it, like, the reward, like, maybe two RPGs, a minigun, a minigun. Whatever. Just my opinion. I think the minigun should be in Fortnite. Also, where are the sharks going to go when all the map is unflooded? I can't believe I missed that snipe. And then I retreated because I wanted to be with my team. Am I grappler? Up? What? Am I okay? I thought someone was gonna edit down onto me, but no one did. Cause no one cared about the stupid soccer team who thought he had a brain. But I was able to get up there and get hit, and I was like, "Yeah, no, I'm good." Legit ran away, and I was saying, "Hey guys, we should probably chop down the build." And I started doing that and then realized that they got knocked. And I also couldn't add stairs today. And now Aunt Dante's like, don't run. And Ant's like, just run. There's no there's no point those guys are sweats. So it went up and fun. But if I had at least one more teammate, I probably would attack. I took one shot and ran. She didn't run right away. I think I took multiple. And then realized that they boxed up and just used my grappler to get away. Oh, Misty Meadows was basically unlooted. So, I was able to hide out and loot a little bit. I had no health, though, at this stage. I'm crouching around. The only, My only chance of winning this game was by using someone else's stuff. Dying to storm. Maybe being able to, like, just outshoot someone in a miracle stage. I would have had to pick one person off, run away, and then pick another person off. I was trying to find the chest so badly. You have no idea. But, you know, whatever. I was just so confused. I was just so stressed at this point that I ha I knew I had to go. So, I just dropped out. Dropped the shotgun ammo. Quickly checked in here to see if the chest was... Actually, not checked the fuse spots yet. Whatever. Realized Storm's right there. And somehow didn't take any damage. But, first I drank some minis. Out in the open. So I didn't want anyone to spot me. Now, saying that out loud might sound stupid, but if you build, it's easier to spot you, technically. I mean, let's... And then realize there's kids up here. And realize my only chance of winning was hitting that snipe. So, on to game number two.
now basically you can land the strategy the main strategy for this place is land anywhere and get his gun that can do some damage now this place is a little different from um retail you need you want a shotgun like if you can choose yes yeah, shotgun because 71 damage should be all in your fight but I don't know how I was nice. I know I know how I was nice quickly, but the fire shouldn't be doing 78 damage when you're dead. Don't know, my opinion. Cause then it was Dante, his aunt died. So now Dante had to clutch up with a blue pistol and his bravery. And actually ended up doing some good damage. Took my shotgun, went into the house, grabbed my reboot. Grab some ammo, grab that gray pistol that I had because you already know. Dropped the gray pistol and went over to try to reboot Ant. I don't know how the guy using crash pads did not spot Dante, but Dante was not complaining. Now, I was telling Dante, get the reboot and just get the heck out. Because there's no reason to be fighting when you have 80 health. No shields and 40 mats to your name. So legit throws it over. I don't know what the point of that stupid bench is. Legit burns his mats just getting up there and then tries to shoot him down. So I was very confused. And ended up taking 10 damage and that's all. Game number three totally not like Ant did. And totally didn't get knocked. And totally didn't just steal my loot. Yeah, totally. Now retail now salty's way more crazy than retail. Everyone's moving in and out. Everyone's just kinda going crazy. And if you don't got a shotgun, you're not making it out of there alive. Or I thought I built behind me, but we all died. Whatever. Game four. Uh, I went to this small house. This one's pretty damn good. Because you can get some good loot like my P90. No, I thought we were going to win. I was like, yeah, we got to win this game. And Dante's saying that he has nothing. And I'm like, uh, we'll find something. And I'm pretty sure this kid had nothing to his name. So I just beamed him down. I should have finished him with the pistol, but whatever. And I just finished him with the pickaxe. It's not mean. So, now I got a burst and a compact. And I'm stressing for my life. Because Ant's low. So I took away his attacker's entire health bar. And they got aimbotted out of nowhere. Like, the kid just enabled, like, just went. Hey, Siri, enabled, enabled. So yeah, not fun. Not ever fun. So I'm just sitting here, sadness. And now all of a sudden, it's just Dante and I get finished. Because you know, like, we got some toxic gamers. Hmm. What should Dante do in the situation? Fight? With 150 health? Get our reboots and run the heck away? Or don't do anything? Or just uh, try not to die? What I would have done is you mini up, you edit out, and you run away. So. Dante actually beamed that kid down pretty damn well. And, you know, thought his life was gonna be good. Until the default noob erased him from existence. Game number five just brings me pain. I land here, the stupid Aquaman skin, which I hate, by the way, start pickaxing me. I get the gun. And literally put him at two health, basically. Twenty. If we want to be exact, it was like. Now this guy also had the cojones to start shooting off the top. 
Like, Ann had nothing. Ann had no hope in this game. She kept, but then got blue AR and was like, okay, I got some hope. And then gets naded. Now what he should have done here is found a way to left. But we are in duos right now, so it was only a two on one. He beams one of them down, but there are three of them there somehow. Probably another team. I don't know where he's trying to get trash pads. Then gets out of there with his life. And then gets beamed down. Oh lord. Game number six though. Started recording halfway through it, sorry. Uh but I died. And I don't even know how to describe this clutch up by Ant. He runs in there. And I hate that skin that that kid's wearing. I hate it. So ugly. Now Ant gets the reboot. Basically like I I don't know if I can get you off. I'm like, Ant, just reboot me. Just mini up and reboot me. Like all he can do. So now I don't. He yeah okay. So he wanted to get some type of mobility, and he got lucky with the crash pads. Then gets out and finds where the reboot van is. Now, either those kids were not playing sound, or just couldn't, or were just stupid. And because rebooting someone's so loud. How can you hear it? I was gonna have like no time to get this off. And starting running around. I probably should have went down the tunnel that he that he found. But no, I decided to go the long route. Actually no, there was some good loot over here, so it actually made sense why I was coming over here. I don't know why I didn't grab the rapid fire. Or the charge as as that. I should have just edited that cone, it would have been easy. But I didn't do that. And you know what? And you freaking know what? We didn't die, actually, surprisingly. Surprisingly, we did not die. So, I'm happy. But now the storm's here, and I thought we were going to be dead. For being honest here, thought my life was over. But then I spot a chopper in the distance. And everything turned around from there. There's a chopper. And we were hoping that it wasn't glitched out. And it wasn't. Now we were going to have like no health on our side. So. What I decided to do. Was get us out of this storm baby. And you know what. It actually worked. And we actually lived. Somehow. And now we're in zone. And Ant, I don't even know what we're trying to do. So we we're gonna go over to, far away from everyone, go over to a mountain and get away from everything physically, humanly possible. So, the reason we were trying to do this is because uh, we had no health. And Mayo actually marked a good mountain. I was just, I was just trying to fly around, trying to find a mountain. Throughout this snowy area is in the circle. So what we do, we went over to it. Kind of a big clutch up by Mayo. Shout out to my own here. Yeah, also, uh, I know I probably said this like 58 times already. But, I didn't want to be in it. I have one person, I have two people in it right now. Mayo and my boy, uh, JR. Uh-huh. Uh, so yeah. If you want to be in it, just say something. So, while we're up here, we wanted to get some stuff. So, I actually have a few more people than I thought I would get. I also had no ammo, as you can probably tell. I only have a little bit of sniper ammo, so I just kind of grabbed whatever I could. And Mayo was nice enough to split his ammo with me. Because, yeah. I had some really bad gun. I had some really bad loot. Good guns, bad loot. Or, bad ammo. That, that made no sense. Oh my, I'm probably so dumb. But, we had to go circle eventually. So, grab the bandages, and head. So we both happened to be at 72 health. Uh, I didn't know that at the time. I knew I was. I knew Mayo was not at 75. 
So I just kind of was like, hey, Mayo, you need a bandage because you are second degree oofed. Uh, yeah. Also, just going to give you a warning. Game 7 through 10 are recorded on a different day. And I play really bad. So, I yeah, don't, we don't really talk about that. But yeah, whatever. Now we're in the we're in this and we're going circle. Now we are just in a bad spot here. I'm watching this gameplay back just and I'm still surprised how I die here. I'm just mad at myself, I guess. So, you know. What happens when you're mad? Uh you some dumb decisions. So we're getting shot at. And now I'm trying to tell Mayo that we should bail. Like, this is probably one of the dumbest things we could have done. So we're just flying a hop chopper around. No one's really bothering us. But there's another chopper in the sky. You're going to see it in a second on my uh, visual sound effects. We get hit. Literally, the chopper is right in front of us. And Mayo's looking behind us. I'm telling Mayo we should dip. Mayo's like, no, nope, nope, nope. We're good, we're good. So I'm like, I don't give a frick anymore. I'm jumping. I dipped. May I wait till a little last second and takes basically his entire health bar. So now we're super low. I thought there was kids here. I probably should have built a one by one. And we could have probably camped. Whatever. Not the best. But it wouldn't have been the worst either. I probably should have built something. Because I still have no idea if there was kids in there. I just kind of told Mayo there's no one in there. Because, yeah. I was lucky I had those bandages. That's all I'm gonna say. Very lucky. And I was gonna go get the supply drop to get some meds. But then I somehow got shot. I'm getting beamed. I couldn't really do anything. Okay, I died. Now, I don't know what happened. Mayo should have probably built there, but not the end of the world. He could have easily built there. But watch how I go from 76 and have the bouncer effect to just dead. I didn't get sniped. At least I don't think so. So now I'm confused. Mayo's stressing out. I don't know what he was trying to... He was trying to get my reboot, I think. But I told him don't because there's no point. There's no bans. I told him get my loot and you'll be fine. But... We're gonna live somehow throughout all of this. I, I I have no idea what's happening. Mayo's can Mayo's ner Mayo I can tell was probably was a little nervous in these games. But did get the scar, so he was kinda fine. I told him to run. And he actually did kinda run. And he did run. Just ran. And I got stuck on a tree. I love when people get stuck on trees in this game. No, but I just told him to run, find a hiding spot. And hope that you're in zone. That's all you can really do at this stage. There's not really anything that he can like do. Because he didn't have health. He couldn't like try to pick someone off. Because I don't know. I think it's sniped at. And now he's in the worst position in the game. So. You know. Uh, I didn't have any hopes. I had zero. I had three kills this game. I was playing great before I died. I mean, that was early game. I popped off early game and forgot to record it, of course. Mayo found this actually really good hiding spot right in that corner. But I saw a big pot. And he actually executed this kid. It was crazy. I was like, oh my lord. And instantly gets FBI opened up. I don't know what happened there. But... We're into the next game. Now this is where it starts with solo games. And this town in solos is crazy. You gotta get a shotgun. Which I got right off the bat. But. It's even crazy. I thought it would be less crazy. In, so in solos than it is in squads. And duos. But nothing. Nope. Not even close. Remember these are all recorded on a different day. Early in the morning. So.
Yeah, these games are not how I actually play solos. You guys have seen how I play solos. I play progressively. I play them good. I'm not that bad. But I think my three favorite houses gotta be the small house, this house, and probably the blue one, because it's closest to the retail right one. So, they're probably the most, they're probably the most basic houses. But you always want, it's like retail, you just want to have a, at least, you want, in this town you want to have at least a hundred. Also, this is probably the saddest part of my entire Fortnite career. I see this guy walking up the hill, I'm like, oh god. Probably some sweaty kids scooting. Now, I wasn't going to shoot him initially, but that's teaming. He's literally at 50 health. If I breathe air on him, he dies. And I proceeded to miss every shot, and we don't talk about that. Game 8, land brick house. Probably the best house in this entire game. But, you know, got that blue AR, but I needed a shotgun. Rule number one. You need a shotgun. Rule number two. You need an SMG. You need some type of AR or SMG. I have rule number two. Actually, and 100 bats. You always remember the 100 bats. Yeah, but uh, decoys are actually kind of clutch in this town. Because uh, it's just annoying. I just threw one over there, one here, and one there. I thought this kid was going to charge me in the forehead, so I was just ready to leave the match. But uh, surprisingly, I didn't die. But I did get a kill. So I'm proud of myself already. These games I always try to aim for at least one kill. You oh also, uh rule number three. You need to have a bit you need to have some shield. Even if it's just forty shield from the chug splashes, if it's a hundred to hundred, if it's fifty shield. Legit it just has to be some shield. I don't know how this kid just destroyed my entire Fortnite career, but he did. So, we're on a game number 9. Uh, I'm very stressed out at this point. Needs to get a good game. And game 9's not bad. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. But as you can see, I got 100 rifle out of this chest, so basically I was asking to die. I was kind of ready to return to the lobby. I didn't have any hope in this game. If you ever get a hunting rifle, just give up. Straight up give up. And then I shot it. So then I want to give up even more. What I should have done is just, it just dipped. I should have just left the game, but I had some G Fuel, so I was fine. Yeah. So, okay, so at this point, I should have just ran, but the action just brought me back, always does. Second you get shot at, second I got, I got flared, so there wouldn't have been many places I can go either way. If I went agency, I would have been spotted. Really, my only hope was to fight this kid. And I actually hit a shot. So now knowing this kid had like literally one health, but also getting beamed from the back, I had to waste some mats. I should have shot there, but it's fine. I used his builds, what he built, to come in and actually do something really smart. So this kid was just in a fight, third partying in... Yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that, Salty. Everyone third parties. You're never not gonna find a third. You're when you're here. You're always gonna be third party. You're always gonna be attacked. You're always gonna be getting ganged up on. But I use my mini correctly, actually. So congrats to me. Reloaded that. I should have just ran here. I should have flare gun and ran. But the kid I saw where exactly he was. I should have went through the top if I was gonna do anything. And they instantly builds the wall, shotguns me, and I started spam building. I started tragicing. And I forgot to build the wall, kid phased through everything. Whatever. Game number 
Tan is here. Now, Gas Station is actually probably like an underrated drop, in my opinion. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that. It's a good drop. Because you're always going to get the Stranglers, and you're going to be able to get some kills. That back one's actually kind of sick. I never know. I didn't notice I got that. Beam this kid down to get some loot. Turn around. And shot that kid. This is why I didn't drink the two minis right away, because whenever you're on a fight, you're gonna lose shield. Just the nature of the game. But, I was. It, this is how I order my inventory if you ever do want to use something like it. I have my SMG in the two slot. I know you guys have probably seen this. I have a sniper in the back, so it's an easy switch. I don't know, it's just how I play. But what I did here, which I love that I did, I ran. Okay? I didn't have good loot, didn't have a shotgun, didn't have an SMG. I need an AR and a pistol. And a banana, too. There's no point of me dying. Always go slurp chuck. I cut this part out, but because it's kind of boring. But always go slurp chuck. Because that's a clutch location to go to. So, yeah. But, we are here in the final circle. Right by Risky. I was going to go Risky. Try to find a kid. Maybe a quick, easy kill. So, yeah. And I happened to see someone swimming. I was going to shoot right away, but I didn't. I didn't want to miss. I thought he would go for the tree. Didn't. So I was in a really bad spot. I took the shot, barely whiffed on his head. I thought I was going to hit that headshot, and I was going to be like, yes. He turns around and shoots his own sniper shot back at me, and then I whiffed that shot. I wanted to make sure my sniper was reloaded in case I did have to snipe again. And now, clearly, this kid was going to start building at me. So, what did I do? Built up. And I was gonna shoot him, and then instantly shot him down, thinking that he'd take a little bit of fall damage. Get on my side. Um. Uh, and I thought I was gonna die here, because I didn't use my SMG. But he moted on the kid, so, you know, I'm toxic. Blitz, purple tack out there, which is perfect for my stuff. I should have launch padded. 100% should have launch padded. When I saw this kid. Should have just built up, placed the launch pad, and dipped. Because I happened to miss every shot. Except for that one. So, GG's. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, so, over the 10 games we had, we had 13 kills. No wins. But, we had about 1.3 kills per game. So, every single time, so I had a, about a 1KD, which, honestly, that's impressive to me. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Also, like and sub. Bye.